Just now be attentive everyone. What is the meaning of quartile deviation? Understand that first. On an average, what is the difference of both the quartiles from median is measured by quartile deviation. Means, in a number line, quartiles divide in four equal parts. This is 2, 2 or you can also say it is equal to median. So, on an average, what is the difference of first quartile, distance of first quartile from median? And what is the distance of median from first quartile? This distance on an average. On an average means, if I do it, then Q3 minus M plus M minus Q1. Average distance. Q3 minus M plus M minus Q1. Average distance will be divided by 2. So what happens here? Minus M plus M gets cancel. What will remain is simply Q3 minus Q1 upon Q2. This is the formula of quartile deviation. So meaning of quartile deviation is it measures the average distance of both the quartiles from median. Okay, once again it measures the average distance of both the quartiles from median. It, uh, what is that one point you are continuously looking at? What is that so interesting? <laughs> this is interesting to end the and we have marks also in the exams. Yes, what is quartile deviation? It measures the average distance of both the quartiles from median. Okay, so average distance of both the quartiles from median means what is the distance of third quartile from the median Q3 minus M. What is the distance of first quartile from the median M minus Q1? What is the average of this distance Q3 minus M plus M minus Q1 divided by 2 minus M plus M gets cancer. So formula of quartile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 upon Q2. Any confusion with this? Okay, Q3 minus Q1 upon 2. This is the formula of quartile deviation. Now, Range is highest observation minus lowest observation. In quartiles, can I say Q3 is the highest quartile? Yes. And Q1 is the lowest quartile? Yes. So can I say Q3 minus Q1 is the quartile range? Yes. Like range is the highest observation minus lowest observation. Q3 is the highest quartile. Q1 is the Lowest quartile. So highest quartile minus lowest quartile means can I say it is quartile range or interquartile range? And we divide it by so the other name of quartile deviation is semi-interquartile range. Quartile deviation is also known as semi-interquartile range. Q3 minus Q1 is interquartile range. Then you divide it by 2. So it is also called semi-interquartile range. Why I am discussing this in your exams, they ask to find out semi interquartile range. Don't consider it out of syllabus. Semi interquartile range means nothing but quartile deviation. And what if they ask you interquartile range only? Q3 minus Q1, then you will not divide it by 2. Did you understand this? And coefficient of quartile deviation is equal to like what was coefficient of range? XH minus XL upon XH plus XL. Exactly same way Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1. But how is it derived? What is the concept of relative measure I made you write yesterday? In relative measure I made you write absolute dispersion divided by central tendency. Now absolute dispersion is QD which is Q3 minus Q1 upon 2 divided by central tendency. But here we are using which central tendency? Two central tendencies. Q1 as well as Q3. Because we are using two central tendencies, we will take its average. What is the average of those two central tendencies? Q3 plus Q1 divided by 2. 2 gets 
answers. Two three minus two and upon two three plus three five. But actual concept remains same. Any relative measure is equal to absolute measure divided by central tendency. Here absolute measure is quarter deviation two three minus two one upon two divided by central tendency. Since we use two central tendencies, we again take its average two three plus two one divided by two. Two gets cancelled, so formula becomes like coefficient of range q3 minus q1 upon q3 plus q1. Other concepts clear to you? Yes. So in the summary right of this, what a division. Basically in this chapter it will also be a division of the last chapter simultaneously. This formulas look very small but it is not so. Because first you have to find q1 as we studied in last chapter. You also have to find q3 as we studied in last chapter. Then only you can find qt and coefficient of so all those things what we studied in last chapter have to be done first. In this way every chapter is related with each other. When we do the next chapter, chapter 5, then what all we have done in chapter 3 and chapter 4, both will have to find first. Then chapter 5's formula will come. Okay, so every chapter will be linked to each other. So did you write this? Two notes will come. Yes, what? Simply Q3 minus Q1. Interquartile range will be equal to Q3 minus Q1. Page 133, exercise 4.1, question 4.2, question 1. Yes, be a <coughs> Some part I do on the board, some part you do on your own, then we'll do it. Another part again to get. A shooter missed his target in last 10 trials by the following distance <coughs> during the practice session. Find the quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation of such distance missed by the shooter. First, we have to find Q1 and Q3. And for finding quartiles, what will we have to do first? Ro uh, Roman? Q3 equal to. Value of 3 by n plus 1 by 4. Okay. Before that, what will we have to do? Arrange in ascending order. First, we will have to arrange the observations in ascending order. So that we will do first. Then we will apply the formulas. Okay. Sit down. Arranging in ascending order. Okay. Be careful when you arrange in ascending order. This first observation, second, third, fourth. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. <coughs> Any doubts up till here? Now, as we used to do in the last chapter, first we will apply the formula of Q1 and Q3. Q1 I am doing on the board and Q3 you will try on your own. <coughs> so for Q1, Khushbu Patel, what is the formula? Observation. Value of 1 into n plus 1 divided by fourth observation. Observation should not become false. Okay? So value of 1 into what is n? 10 plus 1 divided by fourth observation. So value of 2.75th observation, see in the calculator how we do it, 10 plus 1, that is 11, divide by 4 and then into 1, so 2.75th observation, do you get this? Yes. Any confusions? Rima, 2.75, how will we expand further? Correct. Value of second observation plus 0 0.75 in bracket after second third observation minus second observation. Do you all recollect this? Out of practice we did for the same in the last chapter. Okay. Now see in the beginning what is second observation? 18 plus 0 0.75 bracket. What is third observation? 20 minus second 18. So 18 plus 
zero point seven five into two. Eighteen plus one point five nineteen point. Any doubt in this? Now in the same way, how would you find Q3? Value of 3 into n plus 1 by 4th observation. Find that on your own. All of you find out Q3 on your own first. Value of 3 into n plus 1 by 4. What are you thinking so much? Instead of 1, it will become 3. And there also I told you multiply with 3 afterwards. First solve the bracket. Means first you will do 10 plus 1 upon 4, then you will do into 3. When will you do the things on your own? Constantly you are just copying from a notebook every lecture. Not even making any efforts to try on your own how to do it. You have the calculators, where is your calculator? So do that multiplication, that also you will copy. Until and unless you make any efforts, you will not be able to do anything. Whatever speed you observe. I told you observation should not become oxygen, for you it always becomes. Yes, check it up everyone. Q3 will be value of 3 into n plus 1 by 4th observation. Is that 8.25th observation? Yes, sir. Now, 8.25th observation means 8th observation plus 0 0.25 bracket 9th observation minus 8th observation. Okay, now. 8th observation is 35 plus 0 0.25, 9th is 36 minus 8th is 35. So 35 plus 0 0.25 into 1, 35 plus 0 0.25, 35.25 into 1, 35.25. Who could get this correct? Now, we'll apply the formula of QD and coefficient, Q3 and Q1 are okay. So therefore, QD is equal to Q3 minus Q1 upon 2. Okay, quarter deviation is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. See, Q3 we obtain 35.25 minus Q1 prior to this we obtain 19.5 divided by 2. 35.25 minus 19.5 is 15.75 divided by 2 7.875 that is 88 okay 7.875 third digit is 5 so you round it off to 88 any confusion in this and then coefficient is also asked so coefficient of qt is equal to Q3 minus Q1 upon Q3 plus Q1 that is 35.25 minus 19.5 upon 35.25 plus 19.5 okay Q3 35.25 minus Q1 19.5 upon Q3 plus Q1 so that is 15.75 divided by 54.75 Not as 15.75 on 54.75 0.2 2 9 after 2 9 2 8 7 so 2 9 Did you understand this? So this is how you have to solve the question Okay even in the next one, Q1 I will do it on the board, then Q3 you will try on your own. In fact, after Q3, this formula is also now you can apply on your own. Okay. Look at question number 2. Same page, question number 2. Everyone has completed this? Find the quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation of the marks from the following frequency distribution of marks of 43 students of a school. Now frequency distribution is given. So formula remains same in discrete. But then we find it using CFI. And I gave you a shortcut method also for that. That is I told you no need to expand it in this manner. What shortcut method did I give you? 
CFI just greater than or equal to look at the value and opposite value of XI you will take as your answer. There also I told you, you may have to expand it when? When the number before the decimal is present in CFI, then you will have to expand it. Okay, so spread of the XI and FI first of all, only one working is required that is CFI. Okay. Yes, how will we find CFI? 4 plus 7, 11. 11 plus 15, 26. Plus 8, 34. Plus 7, 41. Plus 2, 43. Total of FI will also be 43. Did you understand this? I repeat, 4 plus 7, 11. 11 plus 15, 26. 26 plus 8, 34. 34 plus 7, 41. 41 plus 2, 43. Any doubts on this? Now first we find Q1. Value of 1 into n plus 1 divided by 4th observation. So value of 1. Now here what will we take? n? 43 total of frequency. So 43 plus 1 upon 4th observation that is 11th observation. Okay. 43 plus 1, 44 divided by 4, 11 into 1, 11 observation. Did you understand this? Now shortcut method, CFI just greater than or equal to 11, 11 itself we have it. So your answer is 20. Okay, CFI just greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to is there, then look at that only, don't look at the greater one. If you don't have equal to, then you look at the one which is just, greater than. Here 11 itself we have in CFI, so our answer is 20. Find Q3 on your own. After finding Q3, also find QD and coefficient on your own. Same formulas to be used. Check your answers, I am showing it on the board now. <coughs> First of all, Q1 we already opened as 20. Now for Q3, you will say 3 into n plus 1 by 4. So 3 into 11, that is 33rd observation. Now CFI just greater than equal to 33 is 34. So again 34, your Q3 will come 40. Now with that you will apply these two formulas. So Q3 we obtained as 40 minus Q1 is 20 divided by 2, that is 10. And here 40 minus 20 upon 40 plus 20, 0 point. So all of you are clear with this? Any confusions? Raise your hand who is still solving it. Now same way in third question, continuous frequency distribution. Again Q1 I'll show it on the board, Q3 and QD and coefficient you find on your The distribution of <clears throat> amount paid by 200 customers coming for snacks at a restaurant on a particular day is given below. Now you are given continuous frequency distribution. Amount is given, number of customers are given. Below that find the quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation of amount paid by the customers on that. So what are the classes and frequencies? Okay. Now only one working is again required that is CFI. So 25 plus 40 is 65 plus 81 45 plus 31 75 plus 35 200. Are you all clear with this? Who are still writing up till here? Now here there were four steps. It is continuous frequency distribution. But what was the first step for quartile one? Four steps for this. Step one. Yes, plus one is not to be done. Do you all remember that? Q1, the first step will be one n by four. That is 200 divided by four. That is 50. See, second step. CFI just greater than or equal to 50. That is 65. Yes, against 65 what class we will get 52? Q1 class 
is equal to 50 to 100. Okay? Then, Manish, formula of Q1? L plus N by 2 minus F upon F into C. N by 2? You have to N by 4. L plus 1N by 4 minus CFI upon FI into C. Do you all remember this formula? Yes. <laughs> now, Pirtoj, just one minute. Very good. 25 upon FI. 40 into class length. What is the class length? 50 to 100 it is 50. Be attentive everyone. L is 50 lower boundary point. Here also be careful it is exclusive or inclusive? Exclusive. exclusive. Had it been inclusive 0 to 49, 50 to 100 then what you would have taken as L? 50 plus 49 divided by 2, 49.5. 1 n by 4 from the first step is 50. CFI we always take of preceding class that is 25. FI we always take of same class that is 40. And to class length of 50 to 100 is 50. Do you understand this? So 50 plus 50 minus 25 is 25 upon 40 into 50. 50 plus is it 37.5? 31.25 so 81.25 okay now same way find q3 and then qd and coefficient on your own in q3 this 1 n by 4 will become 3 n by 4 in the formula also it will become 3 n by 4 rest all the procedure will remain same so all of you find out q3 and qd and coefficient on your own then i do it on the board i can verify your answers all have obtained Q3, third quarter. Okay, I'm showing it on the board and you can verify that. Be a little. First step will be 3 n by 4, 3 into 200 by 4, 150. CFI just greater than equal to 150 is 175. Don't talk in between. Against 175, your class will be 150 to 200. Now if you apply this formula, lower boundary point is 150 plus 3 n by 4 from first step is 150 minus CFI of preceding class that is 145 upon FI of same class that is 30 into class length is 50. So 150 plus 150 minus 45 is 5 upon 30 into 50. So is that 8.33? Yes, yes. 150 plus 8.33 that is 158.33. Now if you apply this formula 158.33 minus 81.25 divide by 2 then 77.1 no, 77.08 divided by 2. 38.54. And here, 158.33 minus 81.25 upon 158.33 plus 81.25. <coughs> 77.08. Upon 2, 39.58, 0.322. Who all could get it correct? So, all of you are there with contact deviation. This is how you have to solve it. Okay. Exercise 4. Page 166. Page 166, exercise 4, section B, question 7.
के पेज 166 एक्सरसाइज 4 सेक्शन बी क्वेश्चन 7 सी व्हाट इज गिवन टू यू द 25th एंड 75th परसेंटाइल ऑफ अ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आर 72.18 एंड 103.99 respective and of P25 and P75 25th percentile and 75th percentile 72.18 and 103.99 respective then they say find the quartile deviation raise your hand how can you find quartile deviation from this only two people it's very very simple Pidosh? Exactly. And P75? P25 itself is equal to Q1. P75 itself is equal to Q2. So can we apply the formula of quartile deviation or not? We studied these notes in the last chapter, okay? So write down QD is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. 103.99 minus 72.18 divided by 2 so that is 103 minus 72 that is 31.81 divided by 2 15.91 okay, 9.0 by that means 9.1 so all of you with this question <coughs> Such objective question for one and two marks can also be asked. So, quartile deviation is known. All of you have to find the quartile deviation with this. Okay. Amen. Put off the video.